In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the brand new LEA Professional Cloud. So here we're going to set up the LEA Cloud. So first what you need to do is open up your browser and navigate to leaprofessional.cloud. So I've got that window already open here. And what you need to do is sign in. So if you haven't created an account yet, it's very easy to do so. All you do is click on this button here for register new account. All you need is an email address and a password. It will send you a confirmation code that you'll need to type back in just to verify you've got a valid email, but it's very easy to get an account set up. So I've already got an account set up, so I'm just gonna log in here with my credentials. So now for the first time when you log in, what you have here is a venues view. So instead of just having a list with all of your amplifiers, what you can do is create individual venues and then put the appropriate amplifiers in each venue. So to add a venue, we click on this plus button here. Now you can type in the name for the new venue. So let's just call this my desk because I'm gonna add a couple amplifiers that are sitting on my desk and this one here. So then we just click uh, on the blue button here for add venue. So now our venue has been created, but it is a little bit grayed out because there are no amps inside of it. So it says that there's zero out of zero amps. So to add an amplifier to it, what we do is click on the venue. And now at the top here, there's a button that says plus add amp. So if we click on this, it will generate a token. So what we need to do is click this copy button and it will copy this text here. Now what we need to do is open up a new tab in the browser and we need to navigate to the local web UI for the amplifier. So I'm just gonna type in the IP address for this amplifier, hit enter. So it's loading now. I'm just gonna go in the search here and filter down to my amplifiers. So let's onboard this first one here. So to do that, we click on this blue amp info button here now the very first option says connect amp to account. So if we click on that button, now here there's a field where we're gonna paste the token that we just copied in, and now we can click register. So now this will go out, it's now success. We've got a pop-up menu here that says amplifier connection success. So what it's done is it's registered this amplifier to that one particular venue within your account. So an amplifier can only be registered in one venue within one account at a time. So if we click OK here, now I can go back over to the tab with my cloud and you can see that the amplifier has loaded in my desk venue. So if I go back to the venue view here, what you can see now is it says one out of one amps online. So this will tell you how many amplifiers out of the total number you've got online in the venue. It's got a green bar on the side, which means that all of the amps are fully connected. But if any of the amps weren't connected, you would get a red bar there. And then we also have the smiling emoji here. So what that means is all of the amps in the venue are happy, they're okay. So if any one of those amps was reporting a fault or an event, it would show here on the venue page with either the shouting face or a frowning face for faults and events. So from here now, I can click on the venue and now you get a very familiar view just like the web UI. So it will list all the amps that you're going to put in the venue here and you have all of the full control and monitoring just like you have in the web UI. So if I click on the amplifier, it'll open up here. I've got some music playing. You can see the meters are going. Input section, you know, I get full control and monitoring of all of the DSP sections in the amplifier. What's nice about this as well is it's a two-way communication with the local web UI. So if I take my local connection here and I'll just spread these windows across so we can see uh, two windows on the screen here. So we can see on the left side, I've got the cloud interface for this amp and on the right side, I've got the local web UI interface for the amp. So you can see the meters are going on both. If I make a level adjustment in the local web UI, it'll push to the cloud. And if I adjust it in the cloud, it will also push back to the local web UI. So you get full uh, two-way communication for both control and monitoring functions for everything across the DSP. So we get almost everything that is in the web UI. There are a couple small differences. 
um, but outside of all the DSP functions, which are exactly the same in both the cloud and the web UI, if we go into the network settings here, what you'll see is that the network settings in the cloud are read only. So you can only read these settings. We've done this for a very good reason, just so that you can't accidentally change the network settings and disconnect the AMP from your local network. You know, maybe you're doing this from really far away. You don't have immediate access back to the venue. So if you disconnect the AMP from the cloud, you'd have to actually go back to the venue and reconfigure the network to get the uh, amplifier back online. So in the cloud, that is a read only. So really the only other difference here as well is if in the local web UI, you've got a password on the AMP. So by going in this AMP info button, AMP settings, if you had this AMP password protected, when you go into the cloud, you don't need to enter that password for a second time. So the cloud validates you already. You don't need to enter that password again. It will show you that there is a password stored on the amplifier. You cannot change the password settings. That can only be done through the local web UI, but you still get the full control and monitoring through the cloud. So those are really the couple differences. Uh, cloud is going to be a really powerful tool. Again, you get the full control and monitoring experience outside of these one or two small things, just anywhere that you've got an internet connection. So there you have it. Create some venues, onboard your amplifiers into those venues, and enjoy the cloud. <laughs>